All right, y'all. Welcome to a new show, uh, Cannabis and Conversations. I got my man. Oh, well, first of all, let me give a shout out to our sponsor, uh, Blaze of Smoke here at 355-3555. Yeah, 3555. Mercy University Drive, building 1013. My man Twine graciously allowed us to use this space. So if y'all need some hookah, y'all need some cook, cook shop products, hey, y'all get over here. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm gonna kick it with my man Chris, producer extraordinaire. Something like What's that. Up? Something, <laughs> something like that. that. I make music for fun. I don't. I wouldn't say extraordinaire. Just do a little bit of something. Just man. a little bit of something. Yeah, yeah. But um, Chris, you know, let the people know a little bit about what uh, got you into uh, music production. So uh, I've always been into arts, dancing, mm-hmm. drawing, music, mm-hmm. any anything artistic. I've been into it, and uh, yeah. Back in PlayStation Two days, <laughs> PlayStation Two days, uh, they yeah. had MTV Music Generator, uh-huh. and uh, I used to go to Blockbuster when that still existed. Yeah, not to throw my age out there or anything, <laughs> and uh, go rent hey. rent Music Generator and uh, bring it home. Being for the old weekend. is a mindset. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Other than the back problems oh, and super stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I would go rent this this game and and uh, mm-hmm. make music on it. And it obviously I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I would just click the little snippets, plug them in, and mm-hmm. make something. And uh, it got to a point where I was like, well, it, this can't be how Timberland's making oh, his beats. Like, he's not on the PlayStation yeah. making his beats. So mm-hmm. I found out about Fruity Loops after that, yeah. when it was still called Fruity Loops, yeah. and uh, got the, the cracked version of it. <laughs> the cracked version. And uh, we started making beats on there. And I, I luckily, in high school, had a bit beats of- uh, Can I get an ashtray? Had a bit I, of chorus experience. Yeah. And um, this is why we need girls. <laughs> yeah, we're, hey, we're. You know what? Next bring, time we're going to have cuss? them. Bring the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> bring the bitches. Bring the bitches. <laughs> but uh, I had a little bit of chorus experience yeah. and, and got a little uh, music theory under my belt and mm-hmm. uh, got a little more proficient. And, you know, it's still a hobby for me, but I, you know, I hope to get into slanging beats to these folks <laughs> locally. Slanging beats. Slanging these beats. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Be like black male over there, and <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we got some studio audience members. So if y'all want some tickets, like hit me up. They're like fifteen dollars a pop. So you know what I'm saying. You can come to this exclusive taping. Yeah, but, uh, I, I won't <laughs> always be here, so it may not always be as entertaining. You know, seeing <laughs> seeing as I got this extra uh, expertise <laughs> under my belt here. <laughs> doing it. I worked with people Ooh. like The Rock and uh, Chris mm-hmm. Pratt. Mm-hmm. And uh, Clint Eastwood, so you know, hey, kind of a big deal. Yeah, hey, you, you, you a big deal, man. You out there doing it? Kind of a big deal. But hey, uh, you know, go ahead, like you know, play some of the. Let's let's hear some of your tracks real All quick. Right. I'll go ahead and do this one since it's up. All right. Yes. Oh, have you tried lifter? <laughs> okay. So go ahead and get you one. Those are my hip reds. All right. This one gives you oh, energy. This is a new, this is a new, uh, filter. Yeah, new I filter, yeah. One. Energy, oh, yeah. Yeah, it gives you energy. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, the quality, I know, you know what I'm saying? I guess the quality. Feel free to, you know, do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna try to get us here from two freestyle of Black Bell. <laughs> That's dope, dude. I like that. It got that, like, laid back, you know. I got a sample it. from that cartoon, Steven Universe. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big kid. And mm-hmm. Oftentimes, get my inspiration from kids shows. Don't judge me. Oh, dude, you're fine. So right here, this is called Lifter. It's gonna give you energy. I let that uh, Now we are smoking hemp, CBD this, stuff. Yeah, exactly. This is all legal. We go, you know, push for legislation for that other stuff. Yeah, the fun stuff. Mm-hmm. The fun stuff. They're not really getting here acting a fool. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got for us? Or, you know, anything else you want to talk about? What I want to talk about? Yeah. Like, you know. 
The movie? I, well, I can't. I, I got a <laughs> non-disclosure agreement that I can't. Uh, <laughs> but I, I can tell you uh, again you that Chris Pratt ass is not gonna get sued. Chris Pratt smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> smells amazing. I, he noticed me looking at him. <laughs> uh, he was very creeped out because my mustache was really hideous. <laughs> and uh, I didn't stop though. I let him know I was there. You know, he he felt me gazing at yeah, his body felt your presence yeah he did a bunch of push-ups for me so it was pretty sweet <laughs> he was he was getting right you know i was like i appreciate that chris you know maybe later we can go have some lobster tail or something whatever i don't know what actors eat in hollywood but you know i just felt like <coughs> that might be it mm. so you made him remember you huh oh yeah for sure Maybe the next time he has a role, he'll be like, hey, call that creepy dude that was staring at me <laughs> from the movie Ghost Draft. I'm really hoping that I'm like in the scene, though, because yeah. I, I was right next to him, like pretty much yeah. how we are right now. So. Oh, cool. I got cut out of the one with The Rock, so I, really, oh, I, I didn't appreciate that. Yeah, next time, you know, just run up and kick him in the knee or something, you know, get you a good shot in. At least you'll go viral. Yeah, yeah. So, Chris, where do you draw your inspiration from? Musically, mm -hmm. anywhere. I mean, obviously cartoons. <laughs> I mean, old, you know, old music, new music. Is it anything? I mean, there's no real formula for it. Is if yeah. something strikes you, then you got to go with it. Okay. Um, so we think about today's, you know, producers and you know, because even though you like, you know, you consider yourself a rookie, you still have like a veteran's mentality. Uh, or appreciation I for think, the music. I think a lot of producers that are in the in the game, they have a mm -hmm. lot more time than I have. So mm -hmm. I think uh, that's my only downfall right now. But oh, I think no. it, like for them, the mm -hmm. time that they have to be able to produce beats and get multiple beats going mm -hmm. a day, that's that's like the biggest thing for them. And I mm -hmm. I don't have that personally. So. Well, what about like the new people though? Like the sounds and how everything is going. Um, you know, whether people still want to do sampling, originals, and you know, all that stuff. Well, I've, I've, I've been tripping out on how the music that I've grown up with, you know, 90s R&B, is coming back in the beats today. Mm -hmm. That's that's the, the thing for me is is when sampling for us, when we were mm -hmm. younger, it was like before my time, and it was, yeah. was kind of like it was being new for me. Mm -hmm. But now it's like music I grew up with, and... Uh, Sometimes it's like, oh, why do they sample that? Like, I, I used to love that song, and they're yeah. ruining it. That kind of get that, get that vibe from a lot of them, especially when like that. What's the the one with Tony Tony Tone? They sample mm -hmm. Tony Tony Tone. I like, yeah. oh. kind of. What is it? Yeah, I, I mean, it's not not that it's not a dope track. It's just like I I appreciate that song for what it was, and now to hear another version of it, it's kind of like ah. Yeah, something is you know. <laughs> Get that lighter again. Oh, so yeah, right, I got so the talking and let it go out. Yeah, you know, you ain't supposed to let it go out. <laughs> it's been a while, man. It's been a it's while. Been a while. You try to get that good job. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't be an actor forever. <laughs> let's uh, let's hear some other stuff, man. All right, let's hear some, some you know, some uh, versatility. Yeah, well, I got something completely different right here. Now, what do you uh, what do you do your beats in? Fruit Loops. FL Studio, okay, is what it's called now. But use that exclusively. I haven't used any other uh, mm -hmm. digital audio workstation ever, other than mm -hmm. the music generator I was talking about on PlayStation. Okay. Hey man, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> we still trying to get that feature, <laughs> that exclusive. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Or 
maybe it's, just, it's been so long for me. Okay, so why are you downplaying me, man? No, I'm not. It's not that. I'm not doing that at all. It's just I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. No, I get With you, other bro. products I've tried, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's the thing about, you know, the difference with the cook shop and all these imitators. <laughs> all right. Like, so do you like, how do you name your tracks? Randomness. <laughs> Whatever, it could be something, it could be, I'm thinking about Chop Suey at the moment, and that, that, that would be the name of it. Like, it's not, okay. no real rhyme or reason to it, it's just whatever's happening at the moment. Okay, some more up tempo, you know. Really get your flow going. Sound like this. Uh, this belongs to undergraduates. <laughs> See, <laughs> I've been around him too long. It's like I, I know what he gonna like. So yeah, I'm like, I would say this is the first time you really listen to it, any of it. So yeah, you need to push some more out there. Yeah, definitely, man. I, like I said, I only really work with James and Goody. So, mm -hmm. so you like the hidden gem? That's what they say, man. Mm -hmm. I think if I can probably get the courage to put myself out there more, it'll be you know so, I can so what's make the fear an impact. Based in you? It's not really a fear. It's, it's, I think it, it's just a lifestyle. Like I'm, I'm into providing, I got to provide for my family and mm -hmm. I can't just jump to this and have well, it provide. Okay, you know, I'm not I saying, you know, I'm just at. go crazy with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm hoping, you know, with doing this project with, with James, it'll, mm -hmm. that can be my, oh, yeah, that, be a that step, yeah, yeah, that step into the right direction. Getting people to hear my music and getting it out there more. So do you put together like, uh, I guess like little sample package. I need to do that too. Okay. Get, get some. I got a little Facebook group that you know people want to hear my beats. I mm -hmm. put them in there and you know they give me feedback. But okay. Other than that, you know, it's like I said, it's just a hobby. It's just fun. Okay. I do want to get. Uh, I do want to make a, a group. The, the Dank Dojo is that's mm -hmm. kind of what I fell into as a moniker. Mm -hmm. But I want it to be a group. Uh, something like gorillas where it's a bunch of artists and a bunch of producers and they all come together and mm. put something out and gotcha. i, I kind of want to do that i think that'll be a good uh yeah i, I you know that that's kind of where my idea is mm -hmm. going with it but you know in time i'm sure I mean, i'm not in any rush okay so anything on your mind else anything else on your mind anything you want to get off your chest oh man what a bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, since we're in here talking about cannabis, uh, you know, there's a big stigma around it in society. And, and you know, yeah. several states have legalized it, and there's mm -hmm. uh, plenty that haven't. And, yeah. you know, Georgia's slowly creeping in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think, you know, people need to do more research on their own and, and mm -hmm. figure out on their own what it's all about instead of uh, following the stigma. Because when, when, when the plant itself was made illegal originally mm -hmm. it was a big it was a big deal and it was a based in racism and yeah it's you know it wasn't definitely wasn't good and then now that it's you know coming out how beneficial it is medically and how it can help people in certain areas of life i think it needs to be taken seriously again and, and uh you know not derived from the original yeah. standpoint that came out because it was you know very asinine yeah way of thinking yes and, uh, well you know with a lot of things and yeah they they definitely uh people you know because going out here vending right yeah, yeah. like uh, like i was on a christian network right and i could tell by interacting with you know a couple of the uh hosts 
how they felt about it. Yeah. Now one of them, you know, she opened up a little bit more, um, but the other one that was sitting directly next to me, I f still felt like that little energy mm -hmm. about it, mm -hmm. or whatever. And I was like, you know, y'all can sit there and label stuff. Yeah. But I'm like, even within religion or whatever, I'm like, Christianity, right? At one point, it was a small religion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you went around killing everybody. Yep. So you basically, you know what I'm saying? Believe or die. Exactly. <laughs> In the name of the Lord, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Murder <laughs> everybody. And now you're going to believe what I want to believe. Better. Exactly. So <clears throat> I'm like, you can't, something that has never killed anyone, right? You can't overdose from it. Mm -hmm. And medically, it, it has been proven to help people. I'm like, and then there's also case studies on it, like over 30,000 entries in uh, medical. Uh, yeah, you know. and a lot of times they try and keep that the medical side of it, like the scientific side of mm -hmm. it, hidden. They don't want the oh, public they, they, to know. They do. And then the government owns a patent. Yeah, which is the, the craziest part of mm -hmm. it. They, know, they already know the benefits of it because they've exactly. been testing it for so long. Mm -hmm. And they're, they don't want it to get out and ruin yeah. their little racket of... of Exactly. Medical practice. So we know what it's all about. I've also tried to overdose on it, and it's yeah, it's can't. You just go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and eat like you eat like fruity pebbles and ice cream mixed together. I uh, so uh, <laughs> let me know what's the most amount you smoked in one session? In one session? Yeah, one sitting. I don't know what it what it was weight wise, uh -huh. but there was it was probably like five people, mm -hmm. and everybody lit up and was just passing it around the circle mm -hmm. continuously like it did mm -hmm. it wasn't i don't know we were high so i was passing it around we, <laughs> we could have just kept it it would have been the same thing but that, that was that was definitely the most yeah at one so what, time yeah, like had an ounce or something half an ounce what uh, well uh he was a he was a dealer so he had whatever <laughs> You're not typically getting what a good ounce of or whatever. Yeah, he had a lot. Yeah, he had a significant amount. So, an ounce, twenty-eight grams. There's no way. Like I've, I've had people tell me, man, I can run through an ounce. Okay, go for it. Go for it. But yeah. I bet you can't smoke a pound. Right, right. <laughs> I bet you can't smoke too. Man, there, but there's so, there's gonna be a point when you're doing it. You're just you're gonna have to stop it because you're gonna be like so yeah. spaced out. You're just exactly. You're gonna melt into the couch, <laughs> transform. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be fucking slow and shit. Yeah, uh, you know what? That's what I. Uh, that's what like I hate about it or whatever. Like when I get high, I feel like time is taking forever. Yeah, it does, man. Especially <laughs> when you're first starting out too. Uh -huh. Time goes super man, slow. I tell you what, and I was, you keep looking at the clock and you're like, what? The exactly. But I was it's only it. thirty seconds past. <coughs> when I, I just to, uh, read the first book of the Bible. <laughs> Yeah. When I was in Maine, man, I got some edibles from this dude. He grew his own uh, stuff. It was sour amnesia. And I had ate some of the chocolate. Man, I didn't get a whole lot of it. It was very potent. About 30 minutes, it just set in. I sitting there looking at my <coughs> phone like, okay, it's 114. So I go and write down some stuff. <laughs> Look back at my phone. It's 115, man. What, no, it's been what, 20 minutes. <laughs> what just happened? What in the time warp? It's hilarious. Yeah, it is. It is. It and is. The most, the craziest stuff happens mm -hmm. when you when you start getting on that that level. Yeah. Especially right. food wise, I do a lot oh. of crazy foods. Like I literally made an ice cream sandwich one time. <laughs> wow. Like oh, not how like did you was able to do that with like well, with bread and stuff. Or yeah, like, like potato bread because that's the best bread oh, okay. by the way. Potato bread. Potato bread. I've never tried potato bread. I'm you should check it out, man. I'm it's it's pretty to. dope. It's versatile, apparently, because you can put ice cream on it <laughs> <laughs> and eat it, and it still tastes great. Cool. I think I might have, you know, I did uh -huh. it like a, a legit sandwich, so the ice cream would have been my protein. Yeah. And then I did like a caramel drizzle for like what would be the mayonnaise. <laughs> okay. You know, a little bit of chocolate, uh -huh. you know, put it on there and went to work and it you know just one of the moments man you, wow you relish in it because yeah. once you start telling people about it it's you know then they're like oh i've done some crazy stuff too <laughs> people don't like to share it man no child the uh is one time i had uh oh i had done a bong first mm -hmm. time right and I'd never done it before. So, you know, you got to pull and pull yeah. and pull. And I'm like, dude, I'm tired of pulling. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a freaking workout. So I hit the ball and whatever. So I'm just like, wow. You know, all of a sudden, it just hit me. I'm like, oh, no, man, I got to go. So I go, I leave. 
And then like every time I get high to that point where I'm always thinking like someone gonna hit my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there like trying to parallel park. Um, and in my head I'm like, I hear Kirk. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking like, man, what the hell? Someone hit the car. Yeah. So I get it. <laughs> your ears are just really in tune and you're exactly. just hearing the tires run over a couple pieces of sand. <laughs> <laughs> I get into the house, right? And then all of a sudden, I'm trying to like solve math equations and stuff like that. Right? I'm riding a bicycle. Ooh. I mean, I, I was gone. Working out. Yeah, working yeah. out while you're high is good, too. <laughs> I dressed it there. She took footage of me or whatever. It's just hilarious. I was laughing at it. I was like, hey, look, this is what it is, you know? Yeah, you, know, you do stuff sometimes, yeah. man. You just got to enjoy the moments. You can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know the thing about can't be ashamed of it. Thing about weed, cannabis, out there is that you can get high. You can remember everything. You're not gonna do anything crazy. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm like, you don't go out and commit murders or nothing like that. And I'm like, you know, they, nah, man, you want to do the opposite of that. Yeah, you're like, let me sit here and watch this cartoon for a little bit. <laughs> and it's that's no series. Com- complete opposite <laughs> of murder. And then five hours later, you're like, oh shit, I'm done with the series. Uh huh. So, oh, okay. So, what's the, what's the longest you ever been high? Probably like one of the first times I had edibles. It was about a good ten hour high. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it, it got it, it got to that point after about four hours. I was like, okay, <laughs> just start coming down now. <laughs> needs to stop. I do have a life to live. I can't sit here all day. Yeah. But it, yeah, it was about ten hours, man. But that was when I first first did edibles. Yeah. And then it, then it you know retrograded after that. Oh, so now you're saying you you strong now? No, no, I'm not saying that at all. No, by any means, no. I'm just saying at that particular time when yeah. I kept doing them, it, it you know the okay. time the time limit dropped. Well, cool. The time limit dropped. But anything else you know you got for us, or you know won't we'll let anybody out there and social media world know? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I told you I didn't feel really prepared for this. Oh, dude, you, you, you freestyle. Um, you know what I'm saying? This is what it's all about. You play this some music, you get dope yeah, tracks. Yeah. So anybody who want to like hit you up or whatever, where they got to go? Um. Well, I guess you could add me on Instagram. I'm Chris Case at mm-hmm. I'm Chris Case. That's it. Uh. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can find me on Facebook, Christopher Case. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think when I when I start really starting to put the stuff out there, I think when I register for my PRO. Mm-hmm. Then I'll set up a, a separate account, but it'll probably be Dank Dojo at that point, since that's you know kind of what I want to go by, or I want the group Dank. to be. Okay. Dank Dojo. So. Dank Dojo. Yeah, yeah cool, man. I'm looking forward to it, you know what I'm saying. Anything I can do to help push. Of course, I'm do you it. Know, of course. No, y'all make sure y'all go out there, rock with my man Chris. Y'all need to come to uh, Smoking Blaze. Definitely. Get your hookah on. I got the hookah. I got the flavors. But it was it a blue stra- blue strawberry. Wow. Okay, something I ain't never seen before. Yeah, I ain't never seen a blue strawberry. Uh, we got that grapefruit. So y'all make sure y'all come support uh, black on. You know what I'm saying? Chris is black, by the way. He's just a, a whole lot light skinned. Birth defect. <laughs> Birth defect, man. I... <laughs> but it's your boy, I dress, and you know, we out.